the hills are alive and blue don't know what i'm talking about well it's the karvi the purple blue flowers that bloom once every 8 years here in the western ghats have you heard of the nilgiri mountains in south india ever wondered why they're called the nilgiri means the blue mountains the reason is another species of flower related to this one let's find out all about the karvi and blue mountains in this episode of tree talk This picture was taken in October 2016 when my friend tree guru and mentor Dr Usha Desai told me she wanted to do a special karvi walk for my children and their friends. It's been 8 years since the karvi is blooming again and if you miss this you'll have to wait nearly a decade to see it again. Yes, this is a flower that blooms only about once in 8 years in a phenomenon called mass flowering. As I said at the start, you may have heard of the Nilgiri hills in South India which get its name from a purple blue flower called the Kurinji which flowers once every 12 years. As the flowers on the mountain flower en masse, that is all together, it looks like the mountains are blue, hence the name Nilgiri. When the karvi and the kurinji flower like this all together once in many years it is a party time for the bees and insects you can literally see them in every flower and hear them buzzing away just like this one i captured at the sanjay gandhi national park the kurinji is also closely associated with the local people of the nilgiri its flowering is regarded as auspicious by the todas of uti and it is said that the people of munnar calculate their age as multiples of how many kurinji flowerings they have seen in their life isn't that lovely this is also the time a huge reserve of the delectable kurinji honey becomes available If you want to read more about this phenomenon I've linked up my blog post about it in the description below. So what's the deal with mass flowering? Imagine if all the dogs in the city were to have puppies at the same time or if all the people in a village had babies on the same day. Strange isn't it? And yet this is exactly how some creatures behave and it is a survival strategy. One of them you might know about is the bamboo. The bamboo is a grass that flowers all together. that is every bamboo of a particular kind in the world will flower at the same time each species would have its own cycle some flower once in 12 years others once in 60 years but they always all flower together and then they die immediately after that some animals do this too in africa the wildebeest all have babies on the same day it is called mass birthing why do they do this well as i said it's a survival strategy if they had babies on different days their offspring will be at greater risk of being hunted by lions and cheetahs but if all the babies were to be born at the same time as a group they would lose only one or two of the babies when they are vulnerable as the predators can't eat so many on one day nor do these predators have refrigeration to store the dead meat like humans do so by mass birthing the entire group of wildebeest ensures that it has a greater survival rate interesting isn't it and some plants do this too the neel kurinji is one such and the karvi is another so if you've missed the karvi in 2024 well put it down in your calendar for 2032 now and if you've missed the kurinji well that one is due next in 2030 if you've heard about the cherry blossom in japan and about the jacaranda in south africa but not about the karvi and the nilgiri well it's time to recalibrate and if you need some help doing that you'll find help on this channel do check out some of the other episodes here to discover more about the plants and trees around you share this with friends and subscribe to stay posted